Hi everybody, it's Catherine. How are you today? Today is Saturday, um, January 14th, 2023. And today, or right now, I'm getting ready to start my day 10 application of fluorouracil. Uh, today was definitely a day where I was starting to feel dry. And as you can see, I'm getting a little bit redder, a little bit more blotchy. So it is definitely working. The biggest symptom that I had, um, again, that kind of dry, itchy, sunburn feeling, but it definitely ramped up today. Not unbearable by any means. Um, all I did is wore the fluorouracil cream. I did not put any additional creams or anything on top of it, which for me is remarkable to be honest with you um, because I love to have that moisturized skin feeling but it wasn't so bad that I couldn't stand it so I do think tonight I will probably um, put some aquaphor on my skin um, maybe about an hour before I go to bed I really felt kind of sticky uh, the only time that I did try that before I went to sleep and what makes it worse is I am a face sleeper and I'm I'm hoping I can get to day 14 because doesn't matter. I'm going to end up on my face. I know it. It's it's just it's oh, it's just terrible. I know it, but it it just is what it is. Um the worst part about my face is still this spot right here. Oh, it is so annoying. Um you know, and I keep looking at it I'll show you. It just looks like a chap spot to me. And I think yesterday I made the mistake of saying I'm not putting fluorouracil on it. And I am. Um, I am definitely going to try and avoid that spot. I just, I just could not believe that I would have skin cancer there. So that's just irritating. So I'm going to just stop. But today I had a runny nose. It was really weird. Um, but it was one of those running noses where it's almost like acid, where it's just, it just burns. And so I was constantly, I don't feel sick at all. It was just that weird running nose that you sometimes get. Um, I was just constantly dabbing, you know, with the tissue. And I think this right here is a combination of the cream and just that kind of real acidy feeling um, nasal drip. So... And it's stopped, but unfortunately, the damage is done and it's sore. So uh, anyhow, I wanted to give you a glimpse of what the beginning of day 10 looks like. There's that stupid pink spot again. That's starting to make me nervous. But um, my eyebrow, that makes me concerned and then I'm just I don't even know if you can see it on camera but I'm just kind of a little red and blotchy and and again it just feels like it just feels dry and then getting back to the eyebrow here so yeah, and I do feel like, oh, I don't really know, my daughter thought that I was getting a little something right here, and then there's that, and honestly, I just don't know, if I scratch myself, it's kind of a weird shape, but I guess skin cancer can be any shape, and then through here, and I'm getting pretty darn close to my eye with that cream but I have been putting cream right through here and I did notice that this was kind of turning a different color so anyhow I went back today and I was looking at you know other people's day tens and I know you shouldn't be comparing yourself to um anyone else but it's kind of like that you know google doctor you just have to see and I feel like that's kind of what I wanted to do this for so you know we're all not going to have the same reaction to this medication and maybe mine is going to come a little bit later I mean technically I'm only supposed to be doing it for 14 days um, I do have a doctor's appointment a week from this 
coming Wednesday, but I'm going to try and see if I can get into them this Wednesday because I will be almost at that day 14 mark. In fact, I, I think I am at that day 14 mark. Um, because regardless of what he says about this, I want to continue using it here. Um, based on a comment that another doctor made and essentially did nothing about, which um, I, I will have a couple of little stories to tell you as we get toward, towards the end of this, um, because I'm sure some of you have experienced those too and probably wouldn't be in the position you are right now um, had the doctors been proactive and not rather misleading or um, dismissive, I guess would probably be a better word. Dismissive, you know? So anyways, um, I am about to put that application on. And um, as Dr. Dre says, sunblock is a, probably the best preventative that you can do for yourself. So um, signing off with her cute little sign off, just sunscreen and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.